Hello and welcome to Creative Nerds. Today we've got a quick tip to share with you on how to use InDesign's master page feature and how to also automatically add page number into a document. So you want to start off by creating a new document which we already have and um, we want that document to be contain a few pages. This document contains four. We then want to head over to Windows Pages in order for the pages panel to appear. We then want to set a master, double click on that. We're then going to draw the square out along the footer of the document. Now this square it will appear on every page within the InDesign document, every new page which is created and on every other page unless you select otherwise. We then want to select the type tool we're going to draw out um, a text box. We're then going to right click on that text box and select insert special character. And we're then going to select markers, current page number. We're then going to style up that text a bit. So we're going to move it down to it's in our little footer section. Highlight the text. Choose a color that works. Make it a bit more readable. Okay. I'm gonna add a bit more of a design to the to the layer also, so we're gonna just have, add the stroke to spice it up. There you go, half slash, increase the stroke size, change the colour to red, move it down. So that looks great. Okay, then I'm going to copy that A master which we just created, Control C or Command C if you're on a Mac, and then Control V to paste if you're on a PC, and then Command Mac, Command V if you're on a Mac. So just in the position where we want the page number to occur. We're then going to double click onto any other page to exit their master page feature. So double click on the page and we can see that the master page has worked it's numbered the first page as page one automatically numbered other pages as page two page three and if you go down to page four you can see that's also been numbered and if you add any more further pages scroll down you can see it's automatically added so we're going page 6 and page 7, page 8, page 9. Page numbering is automatically added as soon as you add a new page to the document. Okay, and so maybe you may want to not include page numbering or master pages on a certain page. To do that, simply select the page that you want page numbering to occur on, right click on that page, select apply master pages, and select none. And select the page which you don't want master pages to occur on. In our case, it's page one because we don't want it to appear on the front cover. And there you go. It's been taken off the front cover master pages has, but remains on the other additional pages. I hope you find this tutorial useful. I'm definitely sure, as a graphic designer, this is something which you will need to utilize at some point within your career. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Creative Nerds for further tutorials.